I've been playing old time music all my life. Uh, in the in the 70s, my older brother would like to listen to you know David Bowie and things like that, and I'd just turn it off because I wanted to listen to old time music that speaks to me better than uh, pasteurized, processed uh, stuff you hear on the radio. When I was about 14, I was playing my mom's dulcimer, and we had a, had a family band, and but I wanted to be able to take the dulcimer with me wherever I wanted to go, and so I needed my own instrument. My family always made things and fixed things. Uh, I figured I could make one. I made it, and uh, and it turned out just fine, and that uh, that pretty well started me on this career as I know it. I loved the way the older instruments looked and felt. I focused more on repair than I did on building. Part of the old, old time music and the old instruments really do tie in together because a lot of the recordings that we, we admire, the performers are using instruments that were made in the 20s and, and or, you know, from 1900 forward. So those instruments are, are uh, an important part of the music because newer ones aren't going to quite sound sound right you know you can play the music but it's not going to have the same tone there's a certain fullness to to the to the older instruments you want your work to mimic the original maker's work you know so that somebody 20 years down the road picks it up and say wow this is this is nice nobody's fooled with it you know to me that's the ultimate compliment that that we were able to uh, blend our repairs and improvements in with you know what somebody made a hundred years ago I can't think of anything I like better than getting a chisel razor sharp and taking off shavings of wood off a neck to, to fit it correctly that are thinner than your hair the, to me, that's, that's more fun than anybody should be allowed to have. I am completely in control of, of this little process. Every little shaving is coming off with a purpose because I want it to. You know, nobody else is, is influencing this. So it's you know, just my little, my little bubble uh, letting me do something creative and precise. And when I'm done and I string up an instrument... There's, there's no doubt a wow factor to say, yeah, that was worth it. You know, it's repair land. There's always a bit of mystery. 